is social media dividing us as a society or is it merely reinforcing beliefs we already hold? Does it help us better be informed about politics or does it influence the way we think? And how does social media affect our attitudes towards the government and democracy? A study published in Nature and Science Journal says that algorithms controlling what you see in your social media feed may not be polarizing society the way people think. The notion that such algorithms create political filter bubbles, foster polarization, exacerbate existing social inequalities and enable the spread of misinformation has become rooted in the public consciousness, writes Andrew M. Guess, lead author of one of these studies. The scientists who went through Facebook and Instagram user data for three months found that when a user was exposed to content from sources with like-minded beliefs, it did not significantly impact the user's political beliefs. The studies examined the flow of political content in a sample of 200 million Facebook users during the 2020 US election. All content users could potentially see. Content they actually did see on feeds selectively curated by Facebook's algorithms and content they clicked to see, reshares or other reactions. According to the authors of the studies, though reshares may have been a powerful mechanism for directing users' attention and behaviour on Facebook during the 2020 US election campaign, they had limited impact on politically relevant attitudes and offline behaviours. But overall, users were found to be divided into silos of information that reinforced their own ideas and beliefs. And because of such siloed exposure, people were less likely to come across information that challenged their own attitudes. Moreover, when they are repeatedly exposed to beliefs similar to their own, those beliefs get entrenched even deeper in the user's psyche. This then has a widespread influence on electoral politics, especially in the world's two largest democracies, India and the US. Starting from 2008, when Barack Obama first used social media for a political campaign to the divisive 2016 and 2020 elections that saw fake news play a big role, the impact of social media and in turn its impact on elections has been debated. But what these studies have found is that while algorithms deeply impact what you see on your feed, its impact on your beliefs may not be significant. Despite the fact that we find this big impact in people's on-platform experience, we find very little impact in changes to people's attitudes about politics and even people's self-reported participation around politics, says Joshua Tucker, co-director of the Center for Social Media and Politics at New York University. However, it cannot be said that social media has almost no impact on a country's politics or elections. The 2008 presidential election in the United States is widely seen as the first time social media played a big part in politics. Barack Obama's skillful use of platforms such as Facebook was clearly one of the reasons for his sweeping victory. Similarly, 2019 may be said to be India's first election to be significantly impacted by the internet. Experts believe the BJP owed its victory in part, at least, to its control of social media. And the BJP's online campaigns pressured Congress to play catch-up and focus on social media as a tool for politics. In November last year, Congress leader Rahul Gandhi said that if social media companies want, they can make any party win an election. In February this year, a report by a consortium of international journalists claimed that something called the Team Jorge, a team of Israeli contractors, had interfered with more than 30 elections across the world and had been linked with software to operate fake social media campaigns across countries, including India.